Hello street cars, just hope that you're well. Okay, at the moment I'm working on a few videos that will uh, hopefully help you find a couple of tenths of a second here and there. Uh, specifically, I'm looking at the, the upgrade path of your cars for uh, exhausts and engines, that sort of thing, but also driving lines and techniques. But for this video, what I'm looking at is apparel. Have you ever wondered how much difference apparel makes to the performance of your cart? Uh, you might think by looking at the uh, how much it costs, you think that's going to shave a second or two off of my lap time, surely. Is it really like that? So what this video is going to do is I'm going to run a cart around the same track with the exact same settings, uh, but on one occasion it's going to be with the uh, apparel set to the absolute bog standard stuff, the stuff that you'd um, get when you first start the game, versus the very best stuff that you can use. The stuff that I use when I'm trying to bet, put the most competitive time in for, say, the World Series or something. So let's have a look and see what difference it really does make. OK, let's head to the apparel store. At the top we have the budget stuff, at the bottom we have the premium stuff. For budget, we're going to go with the stock Mavericks. They have no car control boost whatsoever. For the premium stuff, we're going to go with the Alpine Stars Tech 1K Limiteds. They have a 45% car control boost. For gloves, we're going to go with the stock Rios for the budget. They have no car control boost. For the premium, we're going to go with the SK Vipers. They've got a 45% car control boost. For our crash helmet, we're going to go with a stock brown for the uh, budget option. That gives us no car control boost whatsoever. But for the premium option, we're going to go with the SK Fans Poor Monks. That gives us a 10% car control boost. Quite how a crash helmet can give you a car control boost, I'm not too sure. But we're going to go with that one anyway. And lastly, for our race suit, we're going to go with the stock Mavericks for the budget option, which gives you a 10% control boost. And for the premium, we're going to go with the Sierra Works. That gives you a 40% control boost. For this exercise, we're going to race at La Conca on the slightly extended track. I don't remember ever running at this before, but we're using the exact same tyres, we're using the exact same fuel and the exact same setup. This is the best lap I did for both setups. So, does it make a difference? Perhaps not as much as you thought it would do, but critically it does make a small difference. Even if it's only a, a tenth or two tenths of a second, when you add those to all the time savings you get from weight reduction, better exhaust, better engines, better tyres, better fuel, it all mounts up. There's your one or two seconds a lap. All the best guys are going to be using the lightest and the best possible apparel and upgrades. It also acts as a placebo. If you think you've got the best possible equipment, then it's going to make you drive faster. It's going to make you hit those apexes. It all mounts up. And that's what these videos are going to be designed to do. So if you think they're going to help out, do like, comment and subscribe to the channel. And I'll keep making these videos and you'll get notified of them. So until then, I'll see you next time.